Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Akulu Linux and welcome to another video. So today I've got some exciting news and I'm sure everybody's all excited about this. I know a lot of guys are waiting for the release and we're a couple of days overdue. I said somewhere between Saturday and Monday and today is Thursday and we still haven't released. I, I promise you it's coming. You guys may just have to hang on a couple more days. We're just implementing some really cool stuff, last minute kind of stuff. Um, these were a couple of goals that I had on my to-do list that I didn't think I would get finished, but I have, and so they're being added. One such item today is coming into focus, and I'm going to be speaking about it, and that is custom mode, as you can see there. There's custom mode, there's a button here that says custom mode. So first we created Electra, right? I'm not going to go into great detail about that process, but uh, after we created Electra, we created the um, the web interface and the Discord channel, and then we created the the text and voice system for um, the the distro, and so we ended up with chat mode. First, it was direct communication, and then we moved it over to terminal based. And so, if you click on chat mode, you you've got the terminal based chat app here that you can talk to Electra with, right? Um, and then we created um, personalities and roles and um, we expanded the features to create advisor mode and command mode. And these all, are all unique because chat mode is an all-round information um, chat bot that you can talk to about anything. The big difference, oh, and then we upgraded it to have internet access. So the big thing here is that you can talk to it anything and it has live internet access. Advisor mode, as you guys have seen in the past in the videos, advisor mode is like your little PC technician in your pocket. It is there to help you with anything Linux related. And then, of course, command mode it gives you command access to your computer. Um, custom mode. Now, what is custom mode? Well, that's what I want to speak about today. This is the next phase. Um, we figured, well, since we've added the ability to fine-tune Electra, meaning what I mean by fine-tune is you can give it a role to play. You can give it a goal to achieve something. And uh, once we added the ability to add roles to Electra, it was just a matter of uh, uh, focusing that, creating a, sort of like a, a module, a plugin module that allows a user to specify a role. And this is what custom mode is. So if you open up custom mode, I'll show you a live example with the. So if we go to custom mode, let me open here and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. It says there, please define what role you want the AI to play in your interactions. An example role. And then you give the AI instructions for what you want its role to be. In this case, the example says, your name is Tom. You are the cat from Tom and Jerry. Treat me like I am Jerry. Speak to me just the same way Tom would speak to Jerry. I've used this example before, but I'm going to use it again. So let's copy this. And now we're going to give this role to the AI. So the AI is going to become Tom in Tom and Jerry. And it's going to treat me like I am Jerry. So the computer, the, the AI will be Tom and I will be Jerry. There we go. That's it. I pasted it, hit enter, and now I start my chat. And if I just say something like as easy as hello, let's see what happens. And Electra starts. Well, 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 look who wandered into my neck of the woods. If it ain't the little cheese-loving, mischief-making Jerry Mouse himself. What brings you out of your fancy mouse hole on this fine, Albert, suspiciously quiet morning? Don't tell me you were, you're were you here to play nice, blah, 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 blah. And so it goes on. As you can see, the AI has become Tom. It's now completely in that role, and it will continue to do so throughout any conversation I have with, with the, the AI it will assume the role of Tom and it will speak to me as if I'm Jerry. Even if I talk about, 
irrelevant stuff, it will pull the conversation back to this, the whole cat and mouse, um, you know, thing going on between Tom and Jerry. So that's just one example. Now, if I close this up and I reopen it again and I choose custom mode again, it allows me to set a role again. The role is only active while the terminal is open. So if you want to specify a different role, just restart custom mode, close it, open it again, close it, open it again. And you can choose any role you want. You can make it anything under the sun. Um, I'm trying to think now what role to make it. Um, your name is, is Andrew. You are a content writer for a fashion magazine. You are here to guide me and help me with content writing to ensure that I make top quality articles for my magazine. I specifically focus on trending, on fashion trending. search the internet for fashion trends and advise me. Okay, so there we go. Uh, I put in a role here. Your name is Andrew. You are a content writer for a fashion magazine. You are here to guide me and help me with content writing to ensure that I make top quality articles for my magazine. I specifically fo focus on fashion trends on the internet. You need to guide me on what is the latest trends. You should search the internet for fashion trends and advise me. Okay, so I'm not a content writer and I don't know nothing about fashion, but I just wanted to make something up. So that's the role that I've given it. And I hit enter. Now I say hello. What's now let's see what it says when I say hello, what's up? Now I've given it that role, its name, its name is Andrew, it's a content writer and it should advise me on fashion trends. So let's see what it says. Hey there, what's up with you? I'm excited to be working with you on crafting top-notch articles for your fashion magazine. I've just been busy diving into the internet fashion abyss, tracking down the hottest trends right now. So hit me with your what's up and let's get this brainstorming session rolling. Are you curious about anything specific, areas of fashion, or open to exploring the general landscape? The more details you give me, the better I can tailor my trends insights to your needs. Okay, so I don't know anything about fashion, but I do know that they have lots of fashion in Europe. So I'd say something like, I'm interested in writing about European fashion trends. Is there anything specific that is trending in Europe right now in 2023? So I'm interested in writing about European fashion trends. Is there anything specific that is trending in Europe right now in 2023? So look at this now. So remember, I've given it this role. I have turned the AI into a content fashion content writer. Hey there, European fashion scene is always buzzing with fresh ideas and unique takes on global trends. So buckle up because I've got the scoop on what's hot right now across the continent in 2023. One, cozy confidence. Comfort, 
takes center stage, but with a sophisticated twist. Think oversized nuts in chunky chip textures, layered with relaxed tailoring and statement car scarves. Think less slouchy, more effortless chic. Two, leather love. Leather remains timeless favorite. Da -da 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 -da. Cultural tapestry. Europe's rich cultural heritage inspiring vibrant mix of vibrant prints. Blah, 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 blah. New neutral statement boots. Boots are back in a big way. And they're not just blah, blah, blah. Bonus trend. Da, 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 da. Remember, these are just some of the starting points. Feel free to dial deeper. Now, I'm sure if I ask about boots, it will go into greater detail. So, because remember, it's got internet access. But I just wanted to show you that you can literally mold the AI to play any role you want. So, you know, whether it be Tom in a cartoon, Tom and Jerry, or whether you want to use it for actually for work, because it is connected to the internet. So it can find information way faster than you could. And so you could literally turn it into whatever you need simply by just opening it up and choosing a custom mode and then typing what, what role you want it to be. Do you want it to be a financial advisor? Do you want it to check the stock market for you? find investments for you well what exactly do you want to do do you want it to be a shopper you are an expert shopper the best there is your role is to scan websites like amazon and ebay to look for great deals specifically items that are selling well below well below market price you should advise me on these items so I can buy them and we can both rich something like that I guess what's happening in the shopping world today any specific deals so now I, I'm turning it into a shop I've never done this by the way so I have no idea how this is gonna work I don't think it will give me specifics. It will probably just tell me what is trending and, you know, what, what type of stuff to look for. But anyway, because I, I didn't really go into, into, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, it does. Oh, hell, look at this. Oh, fellow bargain hunter. Da, 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 da. I wouldn't say I'm solely responsible for Amazon stock fluctuations. I'm always on the prowl for deals. Here's the lowdown on the shopping world today, December 21st. So this is today general trends holiday hangover da 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 green monday flash sales okay so it's telling me all about specials that are currently on and then it says specific deals as of now amazon apple airpods pro currently at 169.99 15 percent off the usual price wow nice ninja foodie 18 one multi cooker down 99 dollars wow so it's it's going at uh, less a hundred dollars than less than normal. Oh, down to ninety nine dollars. Samsung Galaxy S three twenty three Ultra unlocked version seven ninety nine, a hundred dollar discount. eBay Sony PlayStation five new console available for as low as five hundred fifty. Uh, thought to be wary of potential scams. Though be wary of potential scams. Nike Air Force One various styles sizes discounted up to fifty percent. Lego sets. Look at this. I don't even have to go onto Amazon or anything. I just ask. And I'm pretty sure I can ask it to, to look for more. Wow, look at this. This is flipping amazing. Anyway, so you see, you see how powerful it is with assigning a role. So not only do, do we provide you with um, a chat mode, an advisor mode, a command mode, but we now let you also fine-tune it and remember there's no charges here you don't pay per token you go into chat gtp and these other ais you're paying per token you don't pay per token with us there's nothing you upgrade to pro that's it once off and then this is all yours you can now specify a role 
And the AI will become that. Uh, it doesn't have to be online. You could specify, um, your role is to be my friend. I have been feeling quite lonely this last while. I haven't had much time to go out and haven't seen my friends for a while. I need someone to talk to just casually. Your name is Edward. Your goal is to keep the conversation flowing. Okay, so even if you need something like a friend to talk to and you want to fine tune it, instead of using our normal chat mode, you want to fine tune it. You can give your friend, friend traits and personality. You can specify certain things. You, you should be funny. You should be this. You should be critical. You know, this and this and this, whatever. You can specify anything in this role. So you can mold an online friend that you like to chat to. Hit enter. And now I say hello. Just hello. Let's start with something simple. And then see what happens. You can literally, I mean, the, it's endless what you could do with defining your own role. Hello. Is that Edward you're calling out to? It's great to hear from you. I bet this loneliness has been tough lately, especially around the holidays. What's been keeping you busy these days? Tell me anything, big or small. I'm here to lend an ear and keep the conversation rolling. Perfect, perfect entrance there. Uh, it, it's Christmas. It knows it's December, so it says holidays. And it's asking you to divulge information, big or small. And it says it's lending an ear. And I say something like, ah... Uh, Nothing much, just another day at home. It's raining outside. Other than that, it's pretty dull and boring today. Something simple like that. And it will keep the conversation flowing because I've assigned it the role of being a friend. So it will speak to me like a friend would. Um, so there we go. Hey there, Edward here, catching you in just in time before the rain washes away all the good vibes. Rainy days can be definitely feeling like downers, but hey, at least they make staying in with a good chat extra cozy, right? So tell me, what's been the highlight of your nothing much day so far? Any hidden gems in that mug of coffee or maybe particular fluffy towel that deserves a medal for post-shower snuggles? Speaking of rain, I'm picturing it drumming a gently rhythm on your window pane. Maybe sending little, uh, what's that, rivulets chasing each other down the glass. Uh, is it the kind of rain that begs for a steaming mug of hot cocoa and a good book? Or the kind that whispers promises of puddle stomping adventures in rain boots? And it's got a little emoji of an umbrella. Oh, yeah, we do emojis now, by the way. Electra does emojis. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> uh, whatever it is. Okay, so basically uh, it's now chatting. So there we go. It's a role of a friend. So we've now had the role of a cartoon character. We've had a role of an sh online shopper. And we've had the role of, of this um, playing the role of a friend. So you can really, really, really mold this. Give it any role under the sun. Whatever you do. it will. You can even give it the role of a pro coder. You are a professional coder with many years of experience. You have a big imagination for and ideas for coding applications for Linux. Your role is to advise and come up with great ideas of things that 
things to code for Linux that doesn't exist but could be very useful. You should not only give advice but also assist with the coding process. Preferably, am I spinning that, spelling that right? Doesn't matter. Uh, in Python language. Okay, so now I've given it the role of being a professional coder with ideas, and I go, hello, what's new? I said professional coder with a huge imagination, uh, giving ideas of coding things for Linux that hasn't that doesn't exist or, or, or could be useful. And not just to give ideas, but also assist with coding. So if I provide some code, it should probably help me with that. And here we go. Hey there, always excited to see your eager new coding adventures. Here's a fresh fresh batch of ideas to spark your creativity. AI-powered desktop assistant for Linux. Well, I've done that. <laughs> Funny, great minds must think alike. Literally, AI-powered desktop assistant for Linux. This is exactly what I've done with. <laughs> and it's the first idea. There we go. There's advisor mode. AI assistant. There's a go. AI assistant. <laughs> It's kind of funny. Personalized voice activist assistant tailored for Linux used to integrate the system settings, file manager, task or automate the web searches, da, da 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 Wow. Okay, so I've done that. There it is. And it does have voice support. Cross-platform cl clipboard synchronizer. Oh, this is actually a good idea. Windows, Linux, app, uh, Mac, OS, and it syncs. So you can copy something to clipboard, and then it comes up on one of the other OSs. That's pretty good. Intuitive task manager with AI-based time optimization. Wow, that's another good idea. Distraction-free writing environment with focus enhancement features. Hmm, another one. Um, personalized learning platform for Linux terminal commands. Okay, that's a good idea. But a little too late, I think, because when you have an AI assistant, you don't really need that. Anyway, um, so you can see this this is very awesome and extremely awesome because it actually the number one thing that it suggested is something that I literally just made. Um, OK, so giving it roles, you can mold the AI to your will, whatever that may be. So I've literally given it. A bunch of roles now right here on video and you can see how powerful this is I mean if you're sitting here trying to brainstorm ideas I mean you could ask you can carry on with this conversation to come up with a hundred new ideas as a coder because you don't know what to write what can I do next what can I do next hello give the AI the role of, of being that voice in your ear that tells you what next and it guides you it, it tells you yeah like gives you some some ideas you know ideas and sub ideas Design a task manager that learns user habits and suggests time-saving strategies. Incorporate machine learning algorithms for adaptive task scheduling. Utilize Python's time management and data analysis libraries. I mean, come on. It doesn't get better than this. So this is what we've now added to Electra. We've just taken it to the next level. Not only does it have assigned roles, but you can literally make a role yourself. Extremely powerful stuff, this extremely and there's no token cost there's no monthly cost none of that of course this is going to be in our pro build but that's a once off fee that's it and then it's all yours um anyway so that's it guys that's my video today i just wanted to let you know that apart from the chat mode the advisor mode the command mode which if you want to know what they are they i've made quite a few videos on that and i'm going to make a general video about ai sometime again a long one and i'll cover them all again but today i just wanted to show you custom mode and, and what it's about adding roles yourself using utilizing the roles and just molding the ai to do your bidding Anyway, that's it. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And of course, I'm sure we'll bring you some more crazy stuff in the near future. Lindos, it's on its way, guys. This is in the new Lindos. Lindos going live now, probably this weekend, maybe Monday. I'm not sure. Somewhere over the next few days. 
Lindo's going live. This is all in Lindo's. This is a Lindo interface you see here. You see here, this cool looking funky interface. This is Lindo's. So this is all going to be in the new Lindo's. So thanks for watching and remember to uh, support us. Upgrade to Pro. You can upgrade to Pro supporting us. You can also become a member on Patreon. By the way, the Patreon guys got access to this today. You guys are like waiting like another week or maybe less for this. The Patreon guys are already, they already have this. They already have this. So if you want early access to stuff that we're working on, and you, and you see, we work on crazy stuff all the time. You want early access to crazy stuff, um, sign up to become a Patreon member on our, on our Patreon account, uh, Patreon page, which is www.patreon.com forward slash Makulu Linux. Um, it's on our website as well. You sign up there, become a member, and you'll get all of the early access stuff, man. You, you just you can't beat this. Anyway, uh, thanks for all the support in the past, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.